Century Savannah is NGB's premier counter air exercise, specializing in fifth and fourth generation fighter tactics. As the exercise director, I designed Century Savannah to be in line with the Chief of Staff of the Air Force and National Defense Strategy. The common theme from our senior leaders and political leaders is that we have to train for tomorrow's fight. That is exactly what Century Savannah does. Century Savannah this year is a joint total force exercise. We have airmen from the Air National Guard, active duty and reserve components all participating. One of the best thing about working together with the different groups of pilots from the different MDSs here locally has been, there's been a lot of increase in both threat capability as well as overall capabilities of the individual platforms that we find here today. The Air Dominance Center here at the Savannah CRTC is unique because it's one of the few places in the country that has the significant amount of ramp space that you'll be able to see around us to fit a significant amount of jets with a very large dedicated swath of airspace that is instrumented for us to be able to train together. Because it's such a large airspace, we're actually able to practice some of our more advanced tactics. So there's some things we get back home that we can't do here too. So having the flexibility um, for us to move around the country and train in different locations is, is, is extremely important for us. I mean, the clear benefit is the tactical training. So uh, you get to mix together with different MDSs from different units all across the country. Uh, you come together and you get to do large force exercises. Uh, where you get to learn about what other MDSs bring to the fight. Uh, we come up with mission sets and problems to solve, and then we tactically solve those and execute our game plans airborne. We are the only CRTC training the next generation of fighter pilots for tomorrow. We practice at home, so we practice within our own units, and then um, we get really good at that. Then what we're doing here is this is kind of simulated going to war. F-35A Lightning II jets from the 419th Fighter Wing touched down in Savannah, Georgia to participate in the Air National Guard's largest exercise. Century Savannah, this is an exercise that's put on by the Air National Guard here at the Combat Readiness Training Center, or CRTC. In Exercise Century Savannah, units from active duty, reserve, and Air National Guard will take to the skies with a multitude of different aircraft as they practice and employ air dominance. With the F-22s, F-16s, uh, F-15s that are playing also in this exercise, uh, we all get together and then we go out and train over the water uh, and, and train into that air dominance role. While the 419th Fighter Wing is training in Savannah, their active duty counterpart, the 388th Fighter Wing, is participating in an exercise simulating a combat deployment at Nellis Air Force Base, Nevada. We are augmenting the same combat movement by moving the 419th out to Savannah. So we can operate out of two bases and make sure that we have the proper footprint when it comes to maintenance, support, as well as the aircraft and the pilots available to exercise that type of deployment. The concept behind operating at two different bases is the foundation of ACE, or Agile Combat Employment, which the 419th is looking to validate as a deployment method during their time in Savannah. We're practicing moving that footprint to include maintenance, to include uh, all the support assets, not just the aircraft and the pilots, but uh, the whole enterprise moving uh, and deploying. The culmination of this effort allows the 419th to take on a unique type of training, low-level, high-speed flying over a vast body of water. Because it's such a large airspace, we're actually able to practice some of our more advanced tactics. So there's some things we get back home that we can't do here too. So having the flexibility um, for us to move around the country and train in different locations is, is, is extremely important for us. The Reserve 419th Fighter Wing and Active Duty 388th Fighter Wing fly and maintain the fleet in a total force partnership that capitalizes on the strengths of both components. Together, they are the Air Force's first combat capable units to fly and deploy the F-35. I can't overemphasize that enough is how important it is for not only the 419 fighter wing or the reserve fighter wing that we're in right now, but the F-35 Enterprise in general. Extremely important for us to prove our ACE capability because that is... Century Savannah is a, an Air National Guard Bureau funded exercise that has fantastic training airspace and is a center of gravity to bring other assets in uh, to fly to similar training with us. It's going to have about 55 different assets available uh, to train our students and sharpen our instructor skills against. So without going to a place like Century Savannah, we wouldn't have the opportunity to train against that many different assets. The 43rd is the only squadron in the Air Force that has the F-22 formal training unit. So they're training all the F-22 pilots and they graduate between 40 and 50 students a year.
The benefits of having our pilots trained in other airspace is it provides a different environment. So this gives an opportunity to go somewhere new and figure out how they're going to get the mission done in a place they've never been before. Work with different resources that they don't have on a day to day that they get at the home station. The students are going to become familiar with assets and capabilities that they, they might have while they're in a combat situation, which ultimately will enhance that readiness of our airborne. The syllabus is organized for the students where we teach them just how to fly the airplane, how to employ it against just in 1v1 maneuvering, and then we start stepping up the difficulty from there. I expect that all of the students are going to, going to get a tremendous exposure to the dissimilar combat training world. They're going to get to fly against platforms that they wouldn't get to fly against uh, during the B course typically. So the exposure for them I think is going to be fantastic in the flying world. It's a lot of flying, a lot of mission planning, a lot of briefing and debriefing on the ops side and a lot of good working on the jet, along with just a tremendous amount of integration and crosstalk with other platforms. By taking uh, the 4030 to a large exercise like Century Savannah, we're able